Hi, Peter Diamandis back here at the uh, Classic Car Club with Ron Servan, the head of Lion Motors. Uh, winner in our second XPRIZE ever, the Progressive Insurance Automotive XPRIZE uh, in the side-by-side -side alternative class. Ron, an honor and a Thank pleasure, my much. friend. Thank you very much. Thank you. So I'd like to talk a minute about what this competition uh, meant for you in speaking to future competitors in future X prizes. Um, so uh, you were already in the automotive industry, unlike uh, Oliver Kuttner, you were playing in this area already, or doing great work in this area. But how did entering this competition affect you, and what were the benefits of entering the competition, if you would? Well, I think for us, and I mean, it wouldn't matter what competition or what you were doing, but the fact that we were in the automotive industry already, yeah, we had a little bit of a head start maybe, but there was a lot of aspects that I feel like the staff that you had and the people that were on board pushing the technical rules of tomorrow, you know, that are going to be in the FMVSS standards and are going to be possibly in the future in these cars, we're trying to put them in today and we're working with your staff and they're really pushing to make sure these cars are as safe as anything or safer than anything that's on the road today. So we're, we're focusing on our batteries and battery management systems and the safety of all those. And then we're focusing on our battery, I mean, on our uh, vehicle aerodynamics and safety structures for the, for the chassis. And then on top of that now, we come back with a whole list of rules from the Progressive X Prize that says, well, for electronic safety, we want to see this and we want to see that. And you know, I, I feel like it, it made us become a better company faster. It made us build a safer company or a safer vehicle faster and uh, overall and it wouldn't matter if it was automotive or space or cleaning up oil or Being anything that you could come up with I feel like it forces the competitors to become to be the best that they can be and bring out the, the best they can so human nature really to drive you to do your very best in the heat of competition and did, did this competition also help increase your global visibility um, uh, without a doubt, you know, when, when we entered it, it wasn't about the money for us. It was about, hey, let's, I think we can get some good visibility. I think that we got a car that would fit really good in this particular XPRIZE. And um, so that was our goal, was just getting good visibility out of it. Um, and of course, the, the check is, uh, you know, a great thing to happen. <laughs> but, uh, but, you know, it, it really wasn't our, that was not our main focus and that wasn't dependent on whether we entered this competition or not. So one of the things I found amazing, especially in your category, in the, uh, in the, the two seat side by side category, was the camaraderie that among the teams. It was just competition, the heat of competition, but you became friends as well. Talk a little about that if you would. Well, it, it's when you're, you're locked up in the garage with a whole bunch of guys and a whole bunch of ladies and the teams and every, you know, you can't help but get to know everybody. And I think human nature and a good human being sees a team that needs some help with something, whether it be something very minor or very major. Um, you know, it, that's what we want to do. We want to help everybody because to me, it is no race if you're out there by yourself. So the idea was everybody helps everybody. Everybody wants to be a winner. Everybody's part of this X Prize. And uh, if we could have had 111 cars in that race at the end, that would have been the most fantastic ah, race there was. Fantastic. I was talking with Bert Rutan uh, just the other day. Uh, and Bert, of course, uh, was the winner of our first X Prize. And he was one of the ideas, he's one of the people who really got me thinking about an automotive X Prize as a follow up because he had just given up his EV1 vehicle uh, just you know, in the mid 2000s. And he really wanted that. He wanted uh, an electric vehicle, put his golf clubs in and, and go you know, 100 miles on a charge. So uh, tell us about you know, how does your vehicle compare to that EV1? And, uh, and for those who lost their EV1 in General Motors, tell us about how yours compares to that. Well, I, uh, I, coming from California, I was witness to a sad sight of a huge parking lot full of EV1s and um, knowing where they were all going at the end of the leases. And that's, that's what they were. They were at the end of their leases and here is these beautiful cars sitting there and they only had one destination. And the junk pile. The junk pile. And it, it's, but it, you know, I mean, it was a piece of art but a lot of expense and a lot of technology went into making that car as light as it can. The difference with that car, it went about 80 miles. It ran and drove great. Had 2,600 pounds of batteries in it. 
This car goes 150 miles with the small battery pack in it right now, just tipping the scales at 400 pounds. Wow. So it's a substantial difference and tells you what battery densities and the overall chemistries of the batteries has done since the EV1. So it's... So give us the specs on this car, if you would. Give us all the numbers for a would-be buyer. Okay. Well, this car runs, uh, has about uh, 28 kilowatts of battery on board right now. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll run realistic 150 miles, um, probably run more if you were creative and how you were running it. Um, we didn't have that luxury with the XPRIZE. We had to hit the speeds and we had to hit the stops and we had to hit the goes. But you got real hard driving numbers. So we know this one will do 150 and that, you probably can get it a lot farther. Uh, we have some cars back there that are doing 260 miles on a charge. So great range. Uh, great range. Tell us the other specs. You know, the whole idea with this car is it's simple to build, so it's gonna, we're trying to get the cost down on this, which what's, is what's the, the biggest price? hurdle. We're hoping to be at $39,000 with the Wave that's 2. That's fantastic. That's the goal. And uh, uh, zero to 60 times, top uh, speed, uh, charge times, what are those? Uh, top speed on this is right at 90 miles an hour. Uh, charge time with the XPRIZE, with the charge that we were running, we're running 100 miles and charging back up in under three hours. Three hours to get 100 miles, that's fantastic. Yeah, and that was not a over exuberant cost charger or anything like that. That was just our next step up charger from what comes in the car now. So the car, the charger that comes with the car at $39,000 is still gonna charge, I would say in six. So you're, you're still got a great charge time. And with this chemistry, there is no memory. You can charge for 10 minutes, or you can charge for 10 hours, it doesn't matter. Wow. Um, but so... Your, Ed, tell me uh, your biggest innovation in your design in this competition, what would you say that was? Uh, well, we've already got our onboard battery management system that's proprietary to Lion Motors. But I do believe that the aerodynamics of this car is really a, a huge key to the success it had out there at the track. Uh, great, and one final question. Do you have to buy this car in lime green or can you get it in other colors as well? Uh, we can paint it. You know, the luxury is that our paint shop is in-house. So <laughs> Any color um, you want. Any color you want. We can Ron, do custom anything. Thank you so much. Well, thank Congratulations. you Congratulations. Looking forward to working with you in the years ahead. I, I believe there will be one. You got it. All right, well, thank Thanks. you. Pleasure.